I've often said that the hand is a mini body. Is this just a pat kind of saying or is there some substance to it? Let's find out. Hi, I'm Alan Fraser and this is Piano Somatics where we learn to move better in order to play better. Watch me get out of the chair. Watch carefully. If I just push on the ground with my legs, nothing happens, I can't get out. Now when I move my body, then the legs can unfold and up I go. Did I press down on the ground? No. I fold my legs, I sit down. I move, I unfold my legs, I stand up. Nothing goes down. There's even something called the ground reactive force. It's as if the ground is pushing me up. It's all up. Gravity provides the down, and I provide the up. But that's the same at the piano. Now, watch me walk. I take a step, my foot goes out, my body moves. The leg hits the floor, my body keeps gliding. The leg hits the floor, my body keeps gliding. The legs create contact points with the floor, which overlap and the body joins them all together in an unbroken line, a sinuous thread of movement. That's the elegant sophistication of human walking. Now, watch how I do Tai Chi walking. I bend the knee of my yang leg, that's the leg carrying all my weight. The yin leg is empty. Now I can touch the ground without shifting the weight to verify that it remains empty, that I maintain a clear differentiation of yang and yin. Then I shift and now I've got a new yang leg and a new yin leg. And then I shift and once again. So this constant fluctuation, this change of yin and yang, the exchange of the energies, that happens at the piano as well. 